graduation writing assessment um, requirement. And what, what it essentially means is a junior level um, assessment of students' writing. We, we assess writing at a couple of different levels within the CSU, and GUAR is the, is the system-wide requirement that students write at a certain level in their junior year. It's a way of providing an assessment of, of student writing. In the past, what was done was a, a test. Every student had to take a test before completing graduation. It was a graduation requirement. Um, but there was a decision made that first of all people in all the different disciplines write differently and that just giving people a test was not really a very good measure of how well they wrote for the kind of writing that they were going to need to do out in the world. Tests in a large part test the ability to take tests. They don't really test, they, they don't really test knowledge especially in writing and that it's much more useful to have someone critique your writing and help you improve over a semester than it is to sit down for three hours under a lot of high pressure and see if you can meet some criteria that may or may not really apply to your field. I kind of look at GUAR as kind of a capstone course. These are kind of like, just like you're doing this, this project, they're kind of skills that you're um, honing before you go into the workforce that maybe will distinguish you from some other applicants. So what I said to students is, as a psychology student, say you're going to apply to a nonprofit, and maybe they have a web page, or maybe they're thinking of doing a blog, but they haven't done it. Now you have bankable skills, and you have something that you can show them on the interview. Hey, I did a blog on aging in the 21st century. I know this is a um, agency that's um, about domestic abuse, but I can transfer those skills. When I started teaching GUAR, I, um, it's, the format is um, they're writing blogs. Blogging, they still have to write kind of conventionally. They can't use slang. They, um, they have to cite it or use hyperlinks. So they're learning the process of writing. It's rare to go out into a workplace, unless you're going to do academia, and have to write a 15-page report. You're not going to have to do that. You're going to have to write two or three page reports that are succinct, that are cogent, that are well organized. So I think the structure of a blog is similar to what might be required in the workplace. So I think it's developing skills that are transferable to the work workplace. The first assignment we start with in class is writing an effective email. So first of all, what's your email address look like? Do you have something in the subject? How formal are you? Did you spell check? Did you use slang or colloquialisms? Did you show a way to contact them? Did you reveal yourself to them? And so we have this little exercise and then, um, and then they have a rubric and they meet with a peer and they kind of go over it. Guar is you are writing one part of your paper, you're getting intensive feedback on it, then you rewrite it and resubmit it. And I tell them you're basically learning a, a new language because right now you're not running around saying randomized control group, pre-test, post-test design, but that's what they leave the class with. So it's not just that they're learning to write, but that they're learning the jargon and its meaning behind research. The assignments that I found helpful in my GUAR classes were the ones that were not busy work, the ones that actually applied to something that I was doing. Um, in Michelle Wolf's 300 class, everything that she had us do was something that compiled to the end result of the project. So each week was broken down into a different aspect of the paper that we were writing, so everything was actually very useful and it was basically forcing us to go step by step through the process of writing a paper and by the time we got to the end of the semester, um, everything was completed. In my GUAR class, we uh, worked on one research uh, project throughout the semester and we learned how to do scholarly research. We learned how to interview people and incorporate that into our paper. We also learned a lot about um, citing sources and making sure that we give credit where it is needed. The thing about writing is that it's not like a conversation, whereas if you don't understand me, you can follow up and ask me another question, or you can ask, am I understanding you correctly? Or you can reflect what I'm saying. When you are reading what somebody has written, they get one shot because they are not in the room with you and you have to either understand it or you're gonna discount it. And that's it. Writing is an essential skill for anyone who is work in the working world. 
There is not a job that I can think of in our field or any other where someone won't be writing. Uh, and it, it, it's important for anyone to be able to uh, express themselves well.